Hello, and how are you doing today? This is Trevor Sheridan from AppleMaps.com, and we have a special video covering AirPlay mirroring. We haven't checked out the feature since iOS 5 Beta 1, and now that we're up to Beta 6, we're going to try to see if there's anything new and if the AirPlay mirroring between iPad 2 and Apple TV has been improved. Now you can mirror the screen via cable currently, but with iOS 5 you can do it completely wirelessly. And some apps have built-in functionality to work with the cable where they take full screen as compared to Letterbox. And Uzu is an example which we have here in the background. The real question about the feature is if it's been improved over the betas because it would only be on the iOS enhancement end because developers haven't changed their apps anyway. The big question is if the feature has been improved over the betas and we'll show the ABC live video streaming app to show you. Also note that Hulu Plus doesn't support this functionality. The biggest potential and most strain on AirPlay mirroring is games. Real Racing 2 is probably the most graphically intense game on the iPad 2 and it has the HDMI out support with the cable. But it also works, as you can see, completely wireless streaming without Farmit doing anything to the game. This is just part of iOS 5. In Beta 1 you couldn't even get through a lap without there being occasional stuttering in the feed. But now with Beta 6 there wasn't one hiccup throughout the entire race. This is probably the most amazing example of what AirPlay mirroring the Apple TV and the iPad 2 are capable of. You can control and steer your car right from the iPad and watch the performance on your TV. It's as simple as that. The setup is effortless and all the audio is synced up to the TV as well and it stops coming out of the iPad. It's really a gaming experience unlike anything else. Another interesting part of the feature is that it works with iPhone apps too. TouchGrind doesn't have an iPad version, but it does work with HDMI full screen out support. And as you can see here, it's working completely wirelessly on the iPad to full screen to the TV. Any app that can run on your iPad can run up on the TV, and if full screen support has been built in, it looks that much better. Pinball HD is another game that takes advantage of the full screen where you get a whole new display on your iPad of just a control interface and all the visual data is transferred to the TV. Now this is a lot of data being streamed wirelessly and without any work done by developers. This is quite amazing that Beta 6 is able to run this. Rage HD is another graphically intense game and as you can see here all the mutant shooting fun is right there streamed up to your TV and you get a new control interface on your iPad. But there's also other games that haven't been made for full screen support like Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja and well known games like that. But as you can see right here with Mighty Finn it works just as fine and you can see how quick and smooth it is. As you look at the iPad and the TV simultaneously, they're almost completely synced in real time. And again, this is just beta 6, though it's awfully close to being ready. iPad gaming will never be the same, and we can only hope that more developers build in full screen support for airplane mirroring wirelessly when iOS 5 goes live in the fall. Even apps with the neat functionality where you use an iPhone or iPod Touch as the remote and the iPad as the display lets you sync your iPad display to the Apple TV. As you can see, Mega Jump, also Chopper 2, and a few others. Overall, I think it's safe to say that AirPlay mirroring is the most exciting feature in iOS 5. And we hope you enjoyed this AppleAndApps.com video walkthrough. Thanks.